what's up guys? You know what's up, I need to take a second just to calm down quickly. What's up world? Welcome back to another video. And as you can see, the S13 Dual Beams is up and running and my smile says it all, I could not be happier. I pushed out this video by like a week or so. I really just needed to take some time out and actually comprehend what we accomplished in like under a month. Three weeks and a couple of days is how long this build took. So I'm going to be slotting in um, videos as I'm chatting to you guys. I don't want to bore you with too much talk. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the content, hit the thumbs up. If you want to chat to me, pop me a comment. I always try and reply to all my comments. So we had the dual beams tuned last week Thursday. And the guy by the name of Theo tuned it for me. Um, I'm going to leave his details in the description box. He is an exceptional tuner and really knows his stuff when it comes to Toyotas and he was the only guy who I wanted to tune my car when it was done. So I took the car to him and unfortunately I wasn't able to be there for the entire tuning process. Um, he told me that he needed to take some time just to make some adjustments and I didn't want to hang around while he was busy with that. So I just let him do it. Um, I low-key was okay with that because I've been around tuning quite some time and it does take a toll on the heart because yo, they drive your car very hard on the dyno. So I'm going to play you a couple of clips that his colleague took and then we can chat some numbers once we're done. According to Theo, he told me that this car is very stubborn. We ended on 151 kilowatts and 216 newton meters of torque. I went in thinking that if we can just make like 140, 145, I'm going to be happy with that. On paper, the dual beams are supposed to make 154 and 216. So torque is 100%. Um, slight drop in power. He, Theo did say that he averages around 160 kilowatts and 230 newton meters of torque. But there are a couple of changes that he told me to make. I need to change the collector on the exhaust. I still need to do some research on that. And then I want to get a bigger fuel pump and a fuel pressure gauge. So this car still has a stock fuel pump in there. So I definitely think it needs to be upgraded. Um, so that I'll be doing hopefully in the near future. Um, and then I'll take it back to him and then see if you can squeeze a little bit more power out. But for now, I'm happy. I can drive the car. I can punch it a little bit. It's really, really fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's exactly what I wanted when I, when I look back. also very happy about is the way the car sounds it's not too loud um a lot of people chirp me about ah it's a small exhaust but i don't i don't care it's a two liter it's like it's enough i didn't want to be that guy with a loud car and it's like not really going anywhere the video over there because I was rambling on one and I thought let me get to the good stuff the birdie boys so I really needed to redeem myself from the first donuts I'd done at that spot when I was still rocking the CA ah oh, that didn't sit well with me so I had some fun first then I let David have a go so yeah this is how it went down Oh, 
So I was buzzing after those burnouts and I watched those videos probably a hundred times on repeat. And when I got home, I realized like shit, I forgot to do proper footage to, for you guys to hear how the car sounds like with my microphone because the other video was just like up and down the road, really unprepared. So I messaged David, I was like, dude, I'm going to come to you on Sunday um, because the roads are even more quiet. We can do a couple of pulls. Um, you guys can hear the exhaust, induction and everything. And I walked into the garage, wanted to check my oil and water and then boom, friggin puncture. So, yeah, it's Sunday, I'm not going to be able to get this fixed today. And I also thought I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to show you guys how the car sounds from inside, from outside, from the front and the back. And yeah, this car is not going anywhere. So, here is some footage of the night of the dyno. Um, I drove around a little bit, it's a bit dark, I have the GoPro in the car. And yeah, the third to fourth gear ratio is perfection. The Japs outdid themselves with that one. Um, so yeah, check this out. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. The fun has only begun. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you wanna ask me anything, leave me a comment below. Um, yeah, be safe, look after yourselves. I'll catch you on the next one.